All right, this morning starts the journey to a bucket list lake. We're rigged, final packing, Uncle Marty, riding shotgun. We're headed to Lake St. Clair to practice for the Bassmaster Open, and we're taking you along. Just pulled out, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. Knock it out, straight shot, and hopefully be fishing on beautiful, bountiful, small mouthful Lake St. Clair tomorrow. Update from the road. We're about two and a half hours down the road. We're already past lacrosse. I've already taken the wheel. Plenty of weather. Camus is getting a free boat wash. I'm working on some video stuff, multitasking. So we're about a third of the way, maybe a quarter of the way. We'll see. If we sneak through Chicago without hitting too much traffic, we should be there right at dark and uh, get set up for fishing tomorrow. Well, I would never condone you know, watching movies or TVs or live bass coverage while driving. Or whatever. Of course, you got a driver, then by all means. Get your lake study in, multitask. Got through Chicago, but now we're out the other side. 20 minute delay. She put it as a four, it was five. Shane LaHue do some Cullen. An old bass replays past the time. But otherwise, smooth sailing. Yeah, he's close to helping. Second place. The, uh, the dreams of catching some good smaller that just keep you going. I think that might be a PB. We are in Michigan. We are double pumping. This is what dreams are made of on the road for bass fishing is pumping a truck and a boat. We're about, I don't know, hour south of Detroit. And uh, we're filling up so that we're ready to get after them in the morning. I don't know, been pretty smooth sailing. We had about 15, 20 minutes of traffic in Detroit is all. No trailer problems, no truck problems. Just uh, hopefully the next time you see this, we're getting the boat ready. Look at that. That's, he's cleaning the windows. Marty's the man. That's what two people's stuff looks like going to Lake St. Clair. Most of my stuff's in the boat. All right, good morning. We are uh, here. Here's our trailer. Do a little tour of that a little bit. It's light out. We were planning to be on the water already, but uh, look at that. A little surprise, a little adversity. It's never a good thing when your cowling's off. First thing in the morning when you get here. Went to go put the power on. Master switch this morning. And when I do that, the motor just goes up. Isn't that fun? That's super handy. So, yeah, so I think it's the relay or something. I have no idea where the relay on this new motor is. So, probably about 8 a.m. I did figure out how to manually release it to get it to go back down, but I can't stop it from going up. So, probably gonna have to wait till 8 a.m., find a Mercury dealer. Hopefully, we get on the water. Not too long this morning, but uh, so we've probably at least losing three, four hours of practice this morning on the first day. So fun times. Get a boat, they say. It'll be fun. Good morning update. So after some troubleshooting, eliminating that it wasn't the bow switch, shorted out, and a couple other things, we got it to stop by unplugging these little trim wires right here and then letting the motor cycle and it stops. But sometimes when I turn the switch on, it does it. But I think, so we're gonna go to this little dealership here at 8 a.m., see if they'll be helpful. I think it's some kind of relay problem, but I can't figure out where the relays are on this thing. I don't make them like they used to, but uh, I think we're enough to be dangerous and we could go fishing if they're not helpful. And I could probably get by until the Mercury trailer gets here on Sunday night, Monday morning. And maybe we can get those replays swapped out quick. If not, I think, we can get out in the water. It seems to operate normally once you reset it for some period of time. We maybe have lost a couple hours this morning, but uh, I think we're going to get out today. Marty, help me troubleshoot following wires. Team effort. We'll try that. Probably get Marty a cup of coffee while we wait. And uh, we get out fishing. Let's do a little tour of the, uh, the Wildcat. So this is the Airbnb. Actually, good buddy Brian Bankston independently booked this one. So Brian and Tommy Parker are there, and actually Bart is sleeping in there right now. We could go in there and wake him up, but uh, so this isn't a bad deal. So we're paying like 140 bucks a night. Split three people, but uh, 
it's a it's a fifth wheel it's pretty big it's like almost brand new it's pretty nice the beds not the most comfortable but uh pretty nice it's got these bunk beds and they're just like this there's marty a full-grown man what do you think of those bunks marty didn't sleep on them you tried didn't quite no, didn't even try okay two inch pad so you slept on the couch you slept over there yeah and then with dustin dustin was in oh that was you over there yeah you should maybe just go to walmart tonight and get an air mattress to put on top of that thing I had an air mattress. well but for four. a few bucks it's probably worth it and then there's this little crawl space up here with a bigger bed but not i don't know i feel like i'd be claustrophobic up there otherwise it's pretty nice this is like could be a really nice set up for two guys and a child a couple you children where the light switch for that is but otherwise nice and clean we'll make it work there you go it's cribs edition all right we're at the ramp we're about to make a go of this wish me luck hopefully it doesn't act up on the water got david got cade just saw josh douglas all the gangs here first Lake Saint Lake Saint Clair smallmouth. Got to start somewhere. I think it's my geez. He's coming in hot. I feel like I had one better bite when I was looking at Marty, but uh, two bites on a swim bait. Not what we're looking for, but it's a start. We're all fishing. The trim hasn't acted up, so we're gonna call it a win. Yeah, we got our first actual smallmouth. Oh, I think that's a good one, Marty. What are you talking about? Look at that, one-handed. Oh, there we go. That's fun. Got him on the drop shot. Floating around out here, looking for decent-sized blobs and. Scale in here. Finally got one. No, it's over here. Four and a half. Nice. We would I take five it. of those all didn't day. I, didn't I call that? There we go. Sorry, I'll get it. Oh, a nice one? Probably three and three quarters maybe. Finding a few, this ain't the right one, but we've caught two or three of the right bites today. You can eat that one if you play it. Sorry, you hooked up. Already got one. Oh, probably like a two and a half. Yeah, I would say. Right, there you go. There's your eighty-seven dollar Michigan license. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so here's the update. Probably caught two big ones. Had a couple other decent bites. A few other fish. Found an area that had some fish and a cluster. And now I'm gonna go scan it 
so I can get a feel for what it looks like and then maybe we can start duplicating that a little faster than just scoping around so we're out I don't know somewhere out south of anchor out in front of Metro that red area of the lake uh, 14 to 16 feet drop shot July a little bit of grass around there but I want to see what it looks like on side scan and see if we can duplicate that already on the old lipless the quick 60 that it said he was gonna throw got himself dinner got the Walter, Whoa, Walter. harvest oh <laughs> my arm. That's a good eater. Sweet. Tell us about the Walter. I let it sink all the way to the bottom, then start reeling slow and you cracked it. He hit it right away. Oh yeah, that's a scrappy dude. Ah. One eye. See? Yeah. That's not how to do it in a tournament. Yeah. I feel like I got a peg belt on. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Accent to the dome. Boy, oh, he's a dark tail. Darker color, a little thicker too. Grab the camera, Marty loses one. We're on like a, a a dink hole. We're just beating on them, having a little fun at the end of the day here. Oh, Found the, uh, the nursery school. <laughs> Bunch of one to two pounders. Oh, we did find some rock out here, which is kind of interesting. Probably caught 10 here. I'm going to go hit a couple more spots. On the way in, about 6.30, we have decimated the walleyes out here. We got a live well full. We'll show you those in a little bit. All right. Walter surprise. We gave one way to... Dave. So I guess we had six. With the doing our part to keep Lake St. Clair clear of walleyes and more room for smallmouth. What's up, Charlie? What's up, Dustin? Alright, day two. Last night we got tired, got off the lake 7 7 30. Didn't sleep that well, so not much footage from last night, but we're we're refreshed, slept pretty good, ready to get at it today, and might venture to Canada eh? and uh, see what that's all about. But uh, all in all, after we got the trim snafu figured out, or at least for now, found a few fish. Pretty happy with that. Next, we have another beautiful day on Lake St. Clair, and uh, hopefully, bring you a few more fish catches and some Canadian smallmouth. to use them in the tournament but I don't want to lose my crankbait. Holy shit buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna pull them out. PT10. Oh we oh, slipped off. He don't count then. <laughs> God well, damn it. We got him in the video. You no, can see him. I think I look I wish it was no solid. Dandy, dude. That was a blind cast, too. Was it really? I mean, I just threw back out where I had kind of 
where that one took it. Yeah. I, I cast two. So I'm guessing what I broke off on was another smallmouth. Yeah, maybe. I don't think I'm going to go six pound. Not, I'll go seven, it, maybe. That thing. That's the second time I broke off on that six. Oh my god, that's a fucking giant one. Sorry. Come on, baby. Ah! That's a picture, dude, through there. Come on. This is bad. I think I have a hook deeper. I just broke him off. Oh no! no. I should have helped you. Well, I need to get better at it. That oh, was a five goodness. pounder. Oh, all of five. So when you're catching these, on St. Clair, it's a good sign. Slow down, fish. I just said that to Marty before I broke off and then broke off again. I'll tie better knots during the tournament, Dory. Or a retie or something. I don't know. No? no? Or you're just throwing them at fish. Yeah. Okay. Got an all right one. Hanging a little minner. I think we found a decent spot here. Caught a three, two and a half. Broke one off. Had a giant next to the boat. Grabbed the line, broke that one off. Um, but uh, overall, try to make some wider circles and see if there's more fish around. I don't want to pluck too many here. Kind of, I don't know, dumping grounds-ish. You know where that is. Let me show you why you come to Canada on Lake St. Clair. Look at that! Spend, get that Canadian license. Spend the gas and the time to come over to Canada. So you can get your smallmouth tangled in a drop shot. For this, 12 inch beauty. This is for you, Frank. Marty, on a Canadian bass. Deep up. Three pounder. In your line. Practice the landing skills for tournament day. <laughs> it almost looked good, and then it went sideways. So. Is it easier when the camera's in your face, or no? <laughs> Decent fish. I was hoping he'd jump in the boat. You got a Canadian limit today. I do. A Ned? Uh, no, drop shot. Drop shot. He's got a nice little Canadian three pounder. Probably not worth the trip, but for the tournament, but fun nonetheless. Got that one in there. <laughs> yeah. That is supposed to be a drop shot with a Z2, but they tangle. Pretty. Yes. Didn't see him. Cast towards the leaves. Look at that! Nice land, dude. <laughs> nice as one of the day. <laughs> Three and a half pounds, which makes that my uh, PB Canadian small. No, it's not. Yeah, no, that's definitely my PB Canadian small mouth. <laughs> Off that front. I, I just dropped off the right side of the boat instead of the left side. 
up the deeper edge, I guess. This little thing. <laughs> Darker. That's one of them big blackies we've been talking about. And now he's like, oh wait, I figured out I'm hooked, guys. Yeah. I figured it out. Did you hit spot lock? We haven't moved in like 10 minutes. Oh. Now he's like, nope, we're playing. Maybe we should have that he's really dogging now. Like when I said, I was like, oh, it's one of them like 10 inches. And I was like, oh, it's kind of long. Dude, this is a tank. Got him. Oh. Womp womp. That's a Donkey Kong. Oh, it's, just a it's a little one. It felt like a little one. Oh that might be the biggest one we caught this week. I know it is. There you go. <laughs> oh. 5.1. Oh, look at there. The grip. The claw grip. Yeah, he's, he's pooping out. Oh. Like, uh, no, he's got like a. Oh, two of So, 5.1. And uh, Marty's weird pooping out a lure or something here. Oh, I don't know, it's got a hook in his let butt. Me, uh, let me use my pliers. There. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be way more comfortable for his anus. Day three, beautiful day. Again, too tired to mess around with the GoPro at night. <laughs> we got in late, we fished till after seven. So by the time we got back, it was eight, we made dinner. We were out, bright and early. Ready to get back after it. I think we're gonna, I'm launching here in Anchor Bay today. We'll probably uh, snoop around here this morning and then head on down the lake and peek around and see if we can expand on some water from day one. First fish Monday morning. Had a few short bites. Kind of been finicky, so we put old reliable little brown back flatworm on. Size we need. Boy, not ready to play yet. Look at that. Getting our groove down on landing them. Not a giant, but uh, solid fish. We're in Anchor Bay this morning. Supposedly there was a bass caught here last year. Not a bad one. Saw a pretty big mark out there for our good buddy Aaron S. that big one last night didn't fight a ton until he saw the boat and then he was like mm. like he's seen a bass boat before in this day he doesn't want any part of it Melon head. 
So we grab the line when he gets close to the boat? Is that what we do? Oh, Whoa. Oh, I think that might be a PB. <laughs> I think so. Oh, man. That is a good one. <laughs> That's the biggest one for far, by far, I think. Oh, yeah. That was on five. Man, he's only a little bit bigger than the one last night. He's like five, three. Pretty close to the biggest one I've got a scale on. Thank you, girl. Oh, you sunk right away. Nice. <sighs> that one was out there a ways, huh? I mean, I mean like a long cast, but yeah. like. Hmm. I guess anchor bait doesn't suck. <laughs> Frankenstein, Colin, let's get mad now. Dead glass calm. We got our first drum. Oh, bastard. <laughs> you don't seem excited, Marty. No, I'm very excited. But I'm leading the pack of sheep. Yeah, you went in, <laughs> in the sheephead derby. Uh, DT6 for uh, sheephead, is that the key? DT8. DT8. Hot mustard. Michigan smallmouth. Right. Back to scoping. This will be my best one. Are you going to boat flip this one? <laughs> yeah, right. I did see it. There it is. Oh, man. Is your drag not coming off? No, I'm thumbing it. Okay. Cool. I believe we got a muskie here. There's Greg. Well, we got a DT10 in the face of this muskie. Yep. Did he hit it good? Yeah, yeah, I threw it right by him. Saw him on side I imaging? Or... I, I seen something on the side imaging, so I threw out behind the boat. And wrong thing. I seen the shadow. Should have been too big. He's not ready. This is like when Jay Lee hooked that sturgeon on that zone alive. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, jumper. Oh, I, didn't, I thought he was going to come up and breach. I thought he was too. That'd be worth losing him. Well, he must not have ate the whole thing. It would have been gone by now. in the side of his mouth. It's like the corner of the mouth. That's 40 plus for sure. <laughs> you have to take a break after this. Look at that. That is a big dog. The DT10 in his mouth. Down to the deck. Why do you keep I shaking? think this is the first musky. Why do you keep I've shaking your arm? Because it's tired. I don't know what we're going to do with that thing. Grabbing my pliers there. <laughs> your net ain't nearly big enough. Hey, don't you net shame me, Martin. Don't throw the other way. You don't want to be on that side of the boat, guys. Let's go over here. Let's come back.
You got your musky ruler with? By this, I thought he was going to lay right beside you there. He's getting tired now. Clip them with the scale. And there you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Great. Job. You got that look at him? We got a good look at him. Yeah. I mean, I'd I'm say mid 40s. Yeah, he's big. My arm yeah. feels like it. <laughs> Ain't no smallmouth bass, that's for sure. Whoo. That's exciting. My glove is just reeks. Oh yeah, fuck that smells like shit. Boy, look at how straight it looks. Oh. Yeah, well I think some of the hooks ripped out once I got a hold of them. Yeah, probably. Good pre-fishing hooks. Yeah. I'm probably gonna move spots. Where are all the big ones at, Marty? same size right next to it. The old brown bag, secret bait. You probably never heard of a flatworm before. Four one. Well at least you finally got your four pounder. Yeah there's that four pounder. <laughs> Pretty good. So that's my sixth fish today. I probably got I got a five, a four, three, three, two and a half, and I'll be at two. Still pretty early in the day, so this is the kind of pace you need to get on in the tournament. So we'll see. Got one on the old sea rig. A little easier when you got real line. Exactly. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> Three? Yeah. Thank you very kindly. He looked big when he splashed. He sounded. Oh, the sun. French. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
we've been skipping out. I've been too tired at night. We're actually, Marty's been chefing it up, steaming some country style ribs, some rice. We've been eating good. But uh, we're about to sit down, eat some dinner, and maybe get to bed at 10.30 tonight. Boat's plugged in. We got a coffee maker we had to go get. So, uh, overall, pretty good day. Another long day on the water, another 11 plus hours. Uh, found some bigs, found some new areas. Pretty optimistic. A day and a half practice yet to go. We will uh, check in with you tomorrow morning, heading out on Tuesday morning. Ooh, day four, beautiful glass column day. Trying to expand on some things where we think are the primary areas today. Beautiful day to be able to run around. Might get some rain, but uh, yeah, probably like halfway through the week of the tournament. I just had some fish. Probably one of the best little wolf packs I've seen on front of this zonar. I threw my little balsa crankbait here over the top of it, and they raced up and smoked it. But there's that boat right there, so I didn't really pull on them that hard, and they <laughs> came up, and I saw them three to four pounders and it popped out of one mouth, another one grabbed it, and another one grabbed it, and I didn't set the hook and spit up a perch like that. So like that right there. This is this is what they're eating in St. Clair. This little perch. throw this. <laughs> You're like, I can do this. Oh. We just scoped one with the Canadian dinner mints here. Got a little mustache on him. Look at that. Another three and a half. Alright, so Rain's coming in. Decided to do some cranking here in Anchor Bay. Now well, I got a quality of crankbait. It's not that big. Let's uh, see if we're gonna get hit by the storm or not. Cranking in the wind. Kind of been expanding our water today. Got one on the OSP, but it's nothing special, but it's got a bite. Otherwise, caught a few fish here and there, expanded some water, did some scouting. Nice fat, Lake St. Clair, Anchor Bay Smalley. But we've got a little bit of time yet tonight, half a day tomorrow, then Derby Day. I feel like I'm mostly prepared. And have a game plan. So tomorrow I might just scratch some itch, maybe go to the St. Croix River. And, uh, I don't know. Feeling optimistic. Got a little bored before we were gonna head to the ramp, and we just thought we'd just see some of the other half of St. Clair. Give the green ones a little ride. Get on very yeah, they don't get they don't get the love sometimes. So, we'll off a little theme. Sometimes it's nice to take a break and not look at your live scope.
can't get him, Marty. I'm trying. Did you throw in there? Yeah, I did. Oh, you got it. <laughs> he was swimming out with it. There we go. I got my turn. <laughs> Thank you. Big mouth. Yeah, he, yeah, okay. he had it right away. I thought I was just pulling my face. 13 or 7 eight. 14 all day. All right, Wednesday morning. We got a couple hours here. It's been gusty, windy, rainy. Put my new uh, fish obsessed mount on the troller here. Placed a fuse for interference in my trolling motor. So I want to get out and test a few things and hit the river. St. Clair River here since it's a little breezy, but see if we can't learn a few more things while we're out here. Maybe we find something sneaky that could save something. Good buddy Jim Moina. He's out here. A lot of guys uh, keeping it on the trailer today this last half day, but we're going to go out and sneak out for a couple hours, do some tackle org, do some prep, then uh, enjoy our last partial day of practice here on Lake St. Clair before hopefully we get started tomorrow. 50 50 on whether we have a blow day, but uh, we will see. One of them river smallmouth. Long and lean. Double! Marty sucked up! River double. And then, oh, right another one with it. Right, right, right in front of the North Channel Yacht Club sign. <laughs> No, I get, if I get mine off the hook here, I could drop down and here's come off. You broke off? That was terrible playing. See if that one is sitting below the boat here. All right, we've got the St. Clair River trifecta. I've caught a rock bass, a small mouth, and now a large mouth today. Just out having a little fun. Got him back in the water. This is a wrap. I don't think we learned much on the river today, but caught a few more fish. And uh, it's time to go dry off and re rig and go to the uh, check in and get the, get the show on the road. All right, we're rigging, getting batteries charged. It is pouring outside, but this camper has an awning, so we set it up to. Uh, Somewhat stay dry while we re tackle. Marty grilled us up some steaks. We got potatoes. We're gonna eat good tonight. Life's good. Tournament Eve. Okay, this is loaded. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Powerhouse is charged. Let's go. All right, night before the tournament, we're like boat 116. So middle of the pack are 225 boats, but that's what I want so I can get two decently long days, both days. Give me the most time to put together a big bag each day, not a long day and a short day. So pretty excited. It's gonna be a little windy in the morning. I think I got a game plan. Optimistic about how practice went. So boats ready, bolts are tightened, graphs are tightened, expecting a little bit of bumpy water in the morning. Got the starting line up here. All spinner poles, six of them for tomorrow. Got a few backup, a few backup bait casting rods and a few other things. And the rod locker, we're fully locked and loaded. It's time to go fishing and fish our very first Bassmaster Open. That will be the next video you're gonna see. If you came here to watch some Smalley action and you want more, check out this video on the screen right here for some Malax Smalley action.